Well, some people really want to see the Principe used on a zombie head. Me too. I'm just a little apprehensive because this is a very thin blade and a thin edge. So there's a good chance that it might get damaged. But I'm going to start out light and I want to try something that's directly from Kima. One kind of sneaky thing I like to do in sparring is enter with a cut to the upper right opening and as soon as they raise up to guard change to the upper left opening and so when they rise up you can, this can still kind of sneak over top of that guard so I'm going to try this it's not going to be super powerful compared to say this but I, I want to see what happens so Well, I should have warmed up first. Felt imbalanced on that one. Didn't transfer force very effectively. But even so, considering that that was basically a botched cut, shaved off a bit of the skull, that would certainly be unpleasant and distracting for a follow-up shot. Let's see if I can't do this better. Faint cut. Look at how much foam was on top of the head. That absorbs quite a bit. It cut into the bone. I don't think it got into the cranial cavity. Let's try something else. So I'm imagining coming in with an undercut, the opponent redirects that. So lets it slide upward basically with a parry and I keep using the momentum to come around and change angle. Boom. Well, this was unexpected in two ways. It did a lot more damage to the zombie than I expected, but unfortunately it also did a lot more to the blade. Oh, This is the Achilles heel of the Principe. It's a fantastic cutter, but it's not the most durable blade, not by any means. Ouch. Oh, that is going to look terrible even even when I try to blend this in. Oh well, lesson learned. This is why I was hesitant to use it on a zombie head, but you know, entertainment comes first, right? Upon closer examination, it turns out I hit the exact same spot that I damaged before when chopping into a tree for the abuse of tests. It's that part of the edge that was deformed, and when I flattened it, that weakened the steel in that area. The piece that broke out conforms to the shape of that original deformation. That severed the entire face. Went deep. Crazy. Yeah, um, I think he's done. Okay, so let's try this monster here. This is an octagonal staff from Purple Heart Armory, and it is the largest they have. This is, like, look at the thickness of it. This thing is massive. Blunt weapons have a tendency to be really unimpressive at first, but then you dig deep and you find the damage. Yeah, he, he's not having a good time. The crack might, might in fact go all the way across. I don't want to tear all the all the foam off, but that's uh, <laughs> substantial. All right, here's an aluminum handbow from a company called Combative. I'm gonna crack him right in the temple here. Let's see how it goes. Well, there we are. You just gotta tear into it. I can't say for sure if that was from the staff before or this one, but either way, that's bad news. <laughs> Still perfectly straight, so that's nice. So I realized I've never actually tried to end him with a murder stroke. Now this is a blunt practice sword, but I'm still going to be using gloves. Even though I've demonstrated that you can hold on to a sharp blade with bare hands, it's not really recommended. It's not a good idea. Um, just, you know, just the impact 
alone here is going to be pretty jarring on the hands and you have a better grip with gloves. And this wasn't even a hard swing. I mean, to be fair, the head was already compromised from the previous <laughs> weapons, but uh, it's effective. You know me, I like swords, but you know what never fails to impress? Axes. Am I right? You tell me I overpromised on that one. Since that was so gratuitous and messy, how about something clean now? No dachi decap. <sighs> or not. That was on me. I threw off the edge alignment big time. It goes like this, basically, in a curve. I'll try to do a better job. I am exhausted right now, but I'll do what I can. There we are. Okay, there's a little bit of edge damage, but nothing too terrible. Well, that'll be my last zombie head for a while. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a good one.